sorry it's been so long since I've done my last video, but there's been a lot of stuff going on. Um, this video is mainly in response to Dan's video uh, on his new XTS 2500 getting channel announcement to work. I dicked around on my computer for a good, I would say, two hours, and I managed to get um, channel announcement to work, work on my radio using my own voice, which is kind of, it'll probably get annoying as shit to me after a while, but uh, I got to demonstrate that to you guys in a minute. I'm going to turn this on, and uh, by the way, my XT, uh, the, uh, that's my voice as you can see. Um, this volume knob for some reason is still, I don't know, maybe I'm just too picky probably, but uh, it's a new insert and a new knob, but the thing still doesn't, I can't even probably show you guys, but uh, the knob still doesn't really, it still moves a little bit. I mean, you probably can't even see it on video. Maybe I'm probably just too picky. But anyways, getting on to if anybody has any ideas about that stupid channel knob, let me know. I mean, Dan, Co, your XTS is probably also move at least a little bit. Uh, I'm just probably paranoid. But anyways, um, the channel announcement's really awesome, actually. Each channel I go through, I, let me turn this up so you can hear my scraggly voice on the radio. Last channel one. And it actually, yeah, it's pretty neat. And it beeps to let you know uh, that you've changed channels. Raps, channel two. South Windsor Police Department. And so on. You start with police, channel one. And I dicked around for this thing for the longest time to get this stupid thing to work. And what happened was the program I was using, um, this has to be a certain uh, WAV file, or I'm not too familiar with this whole converting files and that's why it took me so long to do it but uh, evidently the files were too big and uh, the software wouldn't recognize them so it ended up not working the way I wanted it to to begin with but I got it to work um, that's pretty cool um, but yeah so that works the program I used uh, is called let me see on my computer here uh, Let's see. It's, it's pronounced Audiocuity. Let's see. A U D A C I T Y. Whatever that program. It's a certain program that I downloaded, and it's free. And you can it converts the uh, it converts the files to the proper files needed to uh, make channel announcement happen. And the steps are all in the CPS on how to do it. And if you just follow the steps in the CPS, it's actually pretty. Uh, pretty easy to know how to do it once you it's time consuming though it's very time consuming because once you download all the files you have to um, import them one by one in order for them to get into your CPS and assign it to a channel through your zone uh, channel assignment list and it's a pain in the ass to do I, like I said it took me a good two hours just to get one I only did one zone and uh, I followed Ko's instructions because a lot of people say that uh, if you hit the mute button, it won't mute channel announcement, but there's a button you have to press to enable the mute all tones. So if you go into mute, and you hit tones off, not only does it block the keypad, but if you go and change channels, as you can see, channel announcement is also muted too. So thank you, Co, for that. That's really awesome. Uh, I'm going to turn this uh, channel announcement thing back on. And, uh, it works pretty cool. I mean, I, <laughs> I can't believe I actually got something to work without anybody else's help. But, uh, yeah, I'm, well, this is a new housing, by the way, for this radio. It's a brand new housing. Uh, my friend Jim actually put it on for me, and he, uh, this thing is mint. I mean, the brand new housing, I, I, you can't go wrong. Uh, the plastic's still on the display, as you can see. Uh, to the R... It has the uh, hex screw in the back, and uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. A little update on my radio that I, uh, <laughs> thanks to Dan for uh, getting my ambition up to put the frickin' uh, channel announcement in. I actually got channel announcement to work, and I didn't think I'd ever be able to do it on my own, but uh, eh, whatever, that goes to show you. 
Um, yeah, so Dan, thanks a lot, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.